Are you looking to move to York, South Carolina, and you want to know what it's really like? Stay tuned. Today, I'm going to cover some pros and cons so you can make an informed decision. My first pro that I want to talk about is going to be cost of living. As everybody battles the almighty dollar and we're gonna pinch as many pennies as we can, as sometimes the cost of living has just gotten out of control. Here in York, South Carolina is somewhere your dollar's just gonna go a little bit further. We've got housing options under $300,000. You can get a brand new home for the low 300,000s, probably up to the mid fours, depending on how big you want it. Your cost of groceries is gonna be cheaper. Your cost of electricity is gonna be cheaper. And as everyone's battled, hey, has the cost here gone up a little bit? Absolutely. Have the homes had incredible gains? Of course they had. But it hasn't gotten outrageous. When you're coming out of some of these bigger metros and you start to look at the utility costs, like some people have gotten here and almost laughed at the bill and wondered if they were charged correctly. One thing that people really love about the community and the city of York is its sense of community. You know, it is smaller. It is only 8,000 people, and maybe that's a con for you also there. But there's a sense of community. When you go to the stores, odds, odds are good. Someone's going to know your name. When you're out shopping, someone's going to know who you are. It's a very everybody knows everybody feel and you're gonna have a second family and that's hard to find in a lot of places as you get into sometimes your bigger cities even into your bigger neighborhoods we become so cloistered and closed off from the world to where when you get into a small city everyone's gonna eventually possibly know you the other thing they do is incredible community events there's gonna be a veterans day parade as everybody rides down Main Street in their red, white, and blue wave the flag. We love it. There's gonna be a tree lighting, kind of like Hallmark. Everybody gathers around, you say some words, you have an event, tree lighting, Christmas trees, amazing times. But summer, the best thing they're gonna do, the most fun you might be able to have, is gonna be Summerfest. It's gonna have a car show, a motorcycle show, live music amazing vendors, wonderful food, and everybody comes out. People from around the area come to York that day for Summerfest. One of the pros that really gets overlooked, even sometimes by locals, is gonna be some of the amazing local farms here in the area. I'm standing here at Black's Peaches, and if you caught my Clover video, you heard me talking about Bush and Vine. But agro-tourism is a real thing here. In the fall, they do an incredible job. They have a fall festival every weekend right here. You can come do a hay ride. You can go down to Bush and Vine and pick your pumpkins. My daughter loves to go out there. She likes to pick the little, the little ones. She says, oh, they're cute. And we end up with way more pumpkins than we probably need. But it is something, hey, we've never been able to do before until we got to this part of the country and you can go farm fresh here. You wanna you know, farm to table, not only do they have their own crops here, but they also have some options from around the state of local farmers, so you know where your food came from. So if that was something you wanted to do, you wanted to try, and then also you can come out here and you get to pick apples and you can pick strawberries and you can pick a lot of produce yourself here, right off the vine, take it home, and eat it. So the local farms here do an incredible job in the community and they really do produce some amazing food. And you can do that here from local farmers buying local meat, but just make sure, as you've heard me say before, get a extra freezer because that meat is not gonna fit in your traditional freezer. Well guys, let's continue our pros and cons tour. I'll see you at the next place and tell you some more. My next pro for you, it's going to be the weather. If you look at where we sit on the map, we're kind of in the middle between the Northeast and Florida, and we're going to get all four 
seasons. You're gonna get a healthy dose of summer, but guess what? You don't have to run your air conditioner in December. You're gonna be running your heat. You don't have to run your heat into April. Through April, you can most likely just cut everything off. It's absolutely beautiful. You open the windows, get all that stale winter air out of the house and really enjoy an absolute beautiful spring. Now, hey, it is gonna be hot in the summertime. We're gonna have days every now and again of triple digits and every blue moon, we get a string of triple digits together. It's gonna cool off. We're gonna get back down to 90. And then by the time you're tired of summer in August, we're gonna get into fall. The leaves are gonna change. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And the weather's always changing. And after fall, we get into winter. It is December now. You kind of see everything starting to get decorated for Christmas, which is a beautiful thing about small towns. Everything gets decorated for the holidays. As I say, and I'll continue to say, hey, my friends in the Northeast, you're gonna trade out your snow blower for a leaf blower. But I would much rather blow some leaves every now and again then have snow from Halloween to Easter. All right, as we get into the cons, I'm gonna cover a couple things here. Some might surprise you, some might not. You know, hey, the first thing is, it's small. There is only 8,000 people here in the city of York that's incorporated. And so it's only gonna support so much business and commerce. So if you decide to move here and you get here, don't start complaining, oh my God, we don't have all of this extra stuff because the city is only gonna support so much because it's only so big. I mean, there are some incredible restaurants. I'm outside of SoCo, Southern, serving up incredible Southern comfort food come down for lunch you'll absolutely thank me for it but you know hey there are two food lines there is a walmart there is a auto zone i think there's an o'reilly's here you know so you can get your day-to-days in but for your big entertainment options hey you're gonna have to go into rock hill or charlotte if you're gonna do any type of real shopping you want clothes or shoes you're gonna have to go into Rock Hill or Charlotte, but odds are good, you know, if you were moving to York, you, you understand that. So just know, hey, when you have to do some shopping, you wanna buy a car, you gotta go look at new things, you wanna go to the mall, all of those things, you're gonna have to go into one of the bigger cities. So just wanted to make sure I covered that for you. It is small. There are some incredible things here, but just understand what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, another con and something you really will need to plan for is uh, gonna be your healthcare options. If you need access to major medical centers, you have to go have dialysis or other things done constantly, or you've got medical appointments you know you're gonna need to go to for whatever ails you. Hey, you might have to travel a little bit if York becomes your destination. You're probably gonna be 25 minutes to a major hospital, which is gonna be uh, Piedmont Medical Center center over in Rock Hill. So you're just gonna have to plan for that. Are there doctors in York? Absolutely. Are there dentists in York? Yes, but hey, they might not be taking new patients. So your options are gonna be limited. It's just something you're gonna need to know and understand and plan ahead for before you move, start calling, get on the phone. Hey, are y'all taking new patients? Where do I need to go for my certain specialties? Cause this thing ails me. So just wanted to make sure you knew that if you've got young kids who are gonna be really sick, maybe they've got up respiratory issues and you've got to get in to see specialists. Hey, you might get tired of making the drive from York into Rock Hill or Charlotte once a week to get your children or your loved one taken care of. So limited healthcare options is absolutely gonna be a con for you. The other con I wanna talk to you about is gonna be your job opportunities and really business and commerce here. If you don't work for home or you're not okay with your commute into Rock Hill and you don't wanna commute into Charlotte and you're thinking, hey, I'll just move to York and then I'll get a job. Hey, I'm here to tell you, it's gonna be harder than you think it is. Remember, I told you it's small. There's only 8,000 people here. There's not a ton of big business. There's really not a ton of industry in the little city of York. There is stuff within York County, but York County is massive and loads of it's gonna be in Rock Hill, loads of it's gonna be in Fort Mill. It's gonna be 30 to 45 minutes 
from here. So York really does become a bedroom community. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're moving with a work from home job and all of a sudden that job goes away, you could be in some real trouble. So don't make moving any more heartache than it has to be. Make sure your jobs are solid and make sure you're okay to make that commute if that work from home job goes away. So York, South Carolina, what have you thought so far? Covered some pros, covered some cons, you know, did what I cover help you make a decision? Let me know in the comments and down below. And again, thanks for watching another episode of the Carolina Salute. I look forward to hearing from you. Y'all have a wonderful day. Until next time, y'all have a good one.